Thank you for watching Scary Animal Attacks. If you like this episode, please remember to hit the like button and leave a comment or two. Then subscribe and click on the bell to receive notifications whenever we release new episodes. Welcome back to Scary Animal Attacks. In today's episode, we go to the great state of Missouri, and specifically Willard Intermediate School in Springfield. The school is one of the newer in the area and serves about 320 students in the 5th and 6th grades. The city is surrounded by farmland, which gives way to pockets of forest, but the topic of our episode today is not a wild animal, but a very common household pet. On Tuesday, December 20th, 2022, the day started as normal, with the school opening at 8.15 a.m., as it does every other day of the week. Children arrived before that and played together on the playground and chased each other on the grass. They laughed and yelled, as playing children always do, with smiles showing missing teeth cloaked by frosty breath. This day seemed to be just another fun day in the show-me state until an unusual circumstance occurred and changed the lives of many of the students and staff. Shortly after 1 p.m., during 5th and 6th grade lunchtime recess, students were on the playground screaming, running, and jumping. Teachers ate their lunch and attempted to catch up on grading and phone calls while the students vented their energy in games and laughter. I know when I was a child, the bell always seemed to ring just before we had fully formulated our plan for the recess, but this day, it wasn't the bell that interrupted the frivolity. The east boundary of the school grounds abuts an adjacent subdivision full of people, cars, and their pets. With children scattered and running all over the playground and grass, a swift and powerful threat loomed from the housing development. It isn't known for sure if it was the noise the kids were making or simply an opportunity to get out of the yard, but the fact is two full-grown pit bull mixed breeds dogs charged onto the schoolyard. A little bit of history about the pit bull breed. This breed started in England and was used to round up cattle and other large animals. The pit bull was trained to clamp its powerful jaws onto the bull's nose, which would cause the bull to stand still so the livestock owner could relocate them. They were also used for bear and elk hunting, but were crossed with terriers, which create the ancestors to today's pit bull terriers. The addition of the terrier bloodline simply made an already powerful dog faster and more agile. This crossbreeding yielded a powerfully built dog that tended to have a more aggressive disposition to other dogs, making them valuable as fighting dogs as well. Now back at the school, several teachers were out on the playground doing their lunch duty. As the dogs converged on the children, kids ran in different directions and confused the dogs. The children dashed toward the building, but as they converged on the doors, they began colliding with each other, skinning knees and twisting ankles as they fell. Some students stood their ground when confronted by the aggressive dogs, kicking and yelling as the dogs nipped and bit at their legs and hands. Other children hid behind the playground teachers, and others tripped and fell on the pavement, crashed into each other, and shoved each other to the ground out of panic. Playground teachers were not about to run. They stood their ground and kicked and punched the pit bulls as their little students dashed for safety. One teacher took her clipboard and clubbed one of the dogs, and another pregnant teacher was doing more than holding her own, taking the fight to the pit bulls with her tinny runners and stretchy pants. One of the little boys on the playground described the bedlam as hearing one of his classmates scream. He looked over and saw the other child fall to the ground as the dogs pursued her. The pit bulls latched onto the tail of her coat and pulled it quickly from the girl's body. The coat was tossed back and forth and torn up, but the young girl was only slightly bitten during the confrontation. Screams, growls, and cotton batting flew as the dogs tore at the students' jackets and coats. When the children weren't being scratched or bitten, they turned and ran right into each other, like a covey of quail flushing from a bush. Onlookers from the safety of the school windows watched in amazement as the teachers went medieval on the cantankerous canines. The teachers were holding their own and even giving a little more back. About the time the school resource officer had been made aware of the attack, the school nurse and other support staff had begun to converge on the playground. The marauding mutts were rounded up and turned over to animal control. The Springfield Green County Health Department opened up an investigation into the incident, but haven't filed any charges against the owners of the pit bulls yet. Initial testing for rabies was performed on each of the dogs, and results were negative for the disease. The owners of the dogs voluntarily agreed to have both dogs euthanized. One of the dogs was not vaccinated, and no records could be located regarding the vaccinations of the other dog. The attack told tallied with three teachers having been bitten or scratched as they defended the children. 
the injured students numbered 18, with injuries ranging from skin knees and twisted ankles to dog bites and scratches. The mental scars many of the children suffered will likely last the better part of their lives. The school counselors made themselves available to talk to students and teachers alike to deal with the trauma. Just like many municipalities, Springfield requires that dog owners residing within the city limits register their dogs and have them licensed. The CDC of the United States indicates that 4.5 million people are bitten each year by dogs. Right around 800,000 of these bite victims require emergency medical treatment, but fatalities are extremely low. Thank you for watching Scary Animal Attacks. If you like this video, please consider hitting that like button and clicking on the bell icon to keep you notified of our latest video releases. Sharing our video links on your social media might help save a life and spread the fun. As a member of our human network, be careful out there because you don't want to end up on an episode of Scary Animal Attacks.